The future of cancer research is like the past, but dramatically accelerated by technology. The technologies are evolving incredibly quickly. We used to do sequencing just five years ago that might have 30% error. Today it has 2%. That's an immense change. A lot of this data is coming from patients who have decided to participate in some sort of trial or study where they will be donating their tissue or their data to scientists. When a patient presents at a hospital and has their primary tumor removed, a majority of that specimen goes into the biohazard bin. So there's a real opportunity there for an organization like the Ontario Tumor Bank to work with those patients and work with the hospitals to acquire those specimens for research. The human biospecimens are quite precious. They really are the raw materials that are needed to drive forward these sophisticated studies. I wanted to see if they, the mutation took. They have the mutation that we were trying to add. So there seems to be something here, but if you zoom in. It's a lot of data about each individual but we need to collect it on thousands or tens of thousands of patients to be able to have the statistical power. Uh, so this is showing the normal organized vasculature that ensures that all the cells get the oxygen they need. Mm -hmm. The data for hypoxia doesn't exist in a lot of places. It can be hard to measure. So the fact that we have this information along with the genomic information was really unique. So it was a good time to tackle that problem. In the pan cancer data, I have breast cancer has around 1,100 samples. Head and neck cancer is also quite large. Thyroid cancer, pancreatic cancer, which we know has a huge problem with hypoxia. So you generate all this data, um, but how do you actually store it? In terms of solutions, cloud computing is a big one. There has been work done to build containers of pipelines and put them up on these cloud servers such that groups can upload their data and then they can pull their data back down. The field of cancer big data is really evolving to be more open. We don't keep things privately, whereas a decade or two ago, that was everything. We've come together as an international consortium. In many ways, this is the open source movement. What we're trying to do is get rid of some redundancy. You know, you don't want someone sequencing 100 genomes in China if you're going to sequence the exact same 100 in Canada. So there's international effort to agree to what we're each going to work on and then come together and analyze the data together. So any comments on the overview? We did find clinical correlates in figure one. But As a result, there's this growing movement to, instead of sharing the raw data, to making it available so that individual groups will run algorithms in a consistent way locally and then share the final results. It's teamwork. You can't do this by yourself. The age of an individual scientist doing work in their lab at a desk with nobody else around is over.